Hey Technology Crazy here and today I'm going to be showing you a really cool trick inside the Google Maps app that will allow you to download offline maps for free on your iPhone. So please stay tuned and enjoy. Okay, so the first step is to make sure that you have the Google Maps app installed on your iOS device. Now, if you guys don't already have it, you just go into the App Store, search Google Maps, and it is a free download. It has to be Google Maps. It can't be the built-in Apple Maps that comes pre-installed on all, all iOS devices. So, uh, once you have it downloaded, open it up. And I should state before going in any farther that there are a whole bunch of other apps that allow you to download offline maps. But I found that they weren't so user-friendly and they cost a lot of money and stuff like that. So I kind of like the idea of having all the all in one app so I can view my offline maps, my online maps, I have my turn by turn directions, I have my traffic view all in one app and it just saves some data. So if you're out and about, you can view maps, scroll around maps and it doesn't actually have to download the map every single time. So all you have to do is adjust the map on the area that you want to download. In my case, I'll just download this area and I type OK maps. This is actually a command if we press search there it'll actually cache that whole map. And if we go into settings, we can actually see that the map size has actually increased. So if we go down and find Google Maps over here, it used to be 30.2 megabytes, now it's 37.6. Now to be fair, it actually downloaded quite a big uh, area. Let's go on uh, airplane mode here. And now it's switched over to the cached map. And you can see if I go around the border, you can kind of see where it's fuzzy. That's where it didn't download. So we have this whole area now that it has downloaded. So now I can go in this area, I can zoom in, I can see all the streets and stuff. Now I can't zoom in, it doesn't download in 100% quality. If you wanted to, you can kind of reposition your map. That's what I did for my area. I went in and I uh, saved this map and I moved it over a little bit and saved this map and I was able to get a fairly large area uh, that way because Google Maps doesn't allow you to download whole areas like other maps. It is a little bit not so user friendly. It's kind of a hidden feature that if, if you guys ever want to find this feature in the future, you can go under tips and tricks and it's there uh, under offline maps. Now, if you guys want to remove your offline maps, I know this is a very uh, important question. You can actually go into settings under Google Maps and go under about terms and privacy, terms and privacy, and do clear application data. Now, interestingly enough, you actually need a network connection to uh, be able to <laughs> remove your application data. I'm not really sure why, uh, but if I press OK there, it has removed my offline map. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little tweak or trick for Google Maps. Please leave a comment below. Let me know if you have a better app in mind that you think does a way better job. I'm very interested in that. Anyways, I guess that's all. Please check out my Google+, Plus, my Facebook, my Twitter. Everything's in the description. And I guess that's all from Technology Crazy. Goodbye.